Hey, Wagwan. It's Mr. Garfield here, and we're going to be looking at a pure mathematics unit one question from module two. All right, that's coordinate geometry, trigonometry, and vectors. All right, and this is taken from a May June 2018 past paper. Okay, so it, it says let the vector u and the vector v be two position vectors in R3, right? R3 means in the three dimensional plane. And we are to show that u and v are not parallel, all right? We are to show that these two vectors are parallel. Now, what do you know about parallel vectors? All right, so I'm going to write a statement here. So let's start our solution. So if the vector u and the vector v are parallel, right? If they are parallel, then we can write one as a scalar multiple of the other, right? So I could write the vector u is equal to a constant lambda multiplied by the vector v, right? Or I could say if the vector v is equal to a constant lambda multiplied by the vector u, where, right, where lambda is a real number. All right? So I could write it like that. So it doesn't matter which one you use, you would still get the same answer, but I'll be using the first one, right? So what you should know about parallel vectors is that one can be written as a scalar multiple of the other. Okay, so I'll be using the first one, which is the vector u is equal to a constant lambda multiplied by the vector v, all right? I use lambda as my constant. You could use any letter that you wish. Okay, now I know the vector u and the vector v, right? So let's plug in that down here. So I know that the vector u is s, is s, 3s, right? And that is equal to a constant lambda multiplied by the vector v as negative 2, 6, 4, right? That is what we have. So the vector u is s, 3s, and the vector v is negative 2, 6, 4. Good. So we can continue. So I'm just going to perform a scalar multiplication here. Remember, lambda is a constant, right? It's a scalar. So I can multiply the lambda by each element inside the vector here. So I can say S 3S is equal to negative two times lambda, six times lambda, and four times lambda. All right, good. So now we have equal vectors, right? Which means that what? The corresponding elements are going to be equal, right? That's what we mean. So I can now write what? S is equal to negative two lambda, all right? Just equating the corresponding elements. So I can say S is equal to negative two lambda, all right? I could also say three is equal to six lambda. And my last equation, is going to be what? S is equal to four lambda. All right, good. Let's calculate the value of lambda first. All right, we need that first. So we have three is equal to six lambda. So I could say that lambda is equal to three divided by six. All right, which is also the same as a half. All right, uh -huh. good. So now I know the value of lambda. Let us now find the values for S. Okay, let us now find the value for S. So S is equal to negative two times lambda, that's one over two, right? So if I should multiply, you recognize that the twos here will cancel. Okay, so I will get negative one as my answer for S. Over here, I can say S is equal to four times lambda, which I know is a half, all right? And I know that I can simplify this further. 
Okay, 20 itself 1, 24 goes 2. So I can see that S is equal to 2, right? 2 times 1 is 2. Good. Now, what do you notice here? Take a look and let us observe. So we see that in the first equation, we had calculated S to be negative one. And in the third equation, we had calculated S to be two, right? Now, let's go back to the question here. Remember, this is where S is coming from. S is coming from here and here, right? Now, the values of S must be the same, right? The values of S must be the same in order for it to be parallel. But here, you can see that the values of S are different, right? So we can now write a statement and say that since the values of S here are different, it means that the vectors U and V are not parallel, okay? So let's write a statement here. So we're going to say since the values of, or both values, right? Since both values, of S are different, all right? So since the values of S are different, then we can say that the vector U and the vector V are not parallel, all right? That is my statement, because in order for the vectors to be parallel, it means that the values of S has to be the same, all right? The values of S have to be the same. So they ask us to show that the vectors are not parallel. So we can now come down here and write shown, all right? So we have shown that the vectors U and V are not parallel, okay? And that is the end of this past paper question from the May, June 2018 paper. Okay, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please ensure to like up this video. All right, and also subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. And you can also share this video with your friends. All right, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.